Hey there fellow gamers, welcome back to my channel, this is PLK and today we are talking about the Elder Scrolls Online. Today we will deep dive into the world of MMORPGs and find out if they are worth your precious gaming time, right? Or is it fun to play? Today we have a real treat for you guys, the Elder Scrolls Online, or as the cool kids call it, Tesso. We will explore whether this game is still worth playing in this year, 2023. So grab your sweet rolls and let's get started. Roll the tape. Whoa, look at these graphics. It's like you are playing a real The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I mean, sorry Tessa fanboys, but visuals could be better. But graphic is not the only feature that we love in the games, right? This game have other good sides as well. So let's jump right into the main features that make Tesla stand out from the crowd. Immersive lore. Obviously, one of the standout features of Tesla is the deep lore, straight from the beloved Elder Scrolls series. Whether you're a veteran or new to the franchise, Tesla's world building will suck you in faster than Oblivion Gate opening in your backyard right and that is definitely true quest system is very i mean very complex in regards to the storyline of course quests themselves are simple like it should be in mmorpgs massive open world yeah it's stamriel baby there's a boss a vast and diverse open world that feels alive and full of surprises which is really good you can see different things on the map every time, from the snow-covered peaks of Skyrim to the sunny shores of the Somerset. You will find yourself lost in the breathtaking landscapes that will make you forget that you are still playing in your mom's basement. Epic storyline. Tessa doesn't just throw you into the world, it crafts a gripping narrative that keeps you engaged and itching for more. Join the fight against the Daedric forces, unravel political intrigues, or even become a master thief in the darks of Tamriel. The choice is yours, my friend. By the way, you will see the first impression of the game, like few hours of the gameplay, squeezed in a five minutes, interesting points and moments that we experienced with my friend because we tried this game this year just a few days ago. Ah, the joy of interacting with NPCs. Let's not forget those memorable conversations where the characters blink less then overprotective grandma during her grandson's first school play. Unique character progression. Yeah, that is really true. Tessa embraced the freedom to shape your character however you please. Want to be a mighty warrior wielding a giant hammer? Go for it. Fancy slinging spells like a flamboyant wizard? Absolutely. Tessa let you customize your playstyle to suit your personal preferences. I mean, it's also the meta in the game and different patches and DLCs, but you can do different stuff not related to your class. Like to have some warrior guild spells, or for instance, have the vampire spells if you're a vampire. You know what I mean, right? Okay, but what about the competitive advantages, you ask? Well, let's dive into the PvP scene, my fellow thrill seekers. PvP Carnage. Tessa offers a variety of PvP modes, from epic sieges in Cyrodiil to fast-paced battlegrounds where alliances are forged and broken. Trust me, nothing beats the thrill of showing off your skills and leaving your enemies shouting. By the nine divines, they kill me again. You know that. Now, let's talk about the downsides of Tessa, my skeptical comrades. Learning Curve. Well, Tessa has a bit of learning curve, especially for the newcomers to the MMORPG genre or those unfamiliar with the Elder Scrolls series. It might take some time to get used to the mechanics and understand the intricacies of character progression, which is good, right? For instance, for me, but for the new players, it could be not so good. Anyway, and subscription model. Unlike some other MMORPGs, Tessa still has a subscription based model. While it offers a ton of content, it might not be best fit for the players who prefer more casual, free-to-play experience. I mean, they still have so many DLCs, which are cost like from 40 bucks to 80 bucks, not 80, 70, it's like a high cost. But this DLC provide many, many different content every year, which is really great for this game. Still, the subscription model, if they will be free-to-play, I think they will have more and more players but maybe they don't need to, right? 
and of course the visual obviously looks bad. It's even worse during the big fights with attacks and defects and all, all this stuff, right? Maybe just my expectations were really high for this game, I don't know, because I remember the game looks cool, but now it's like it's really outdated. What do you think guys? Maybe I'm wrong. Just drop your comment below. Uh, yeah, by the way, you can subscribe and like if you're still listening to me, right? You can you can you can do it. You can do it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you can do it. Right now. It's just the button there. Subscribe and like, right? Thank you. All right, folks. We are journeyed through the Tamriel, faced fearsome foes, interesting storyline and quest, but what can we expect from the end game? What? So, the end game is pretty I don't say basic, but understandable. The end game for the MMORPG is how much time will you spend in the game with your friends? So, we have trials and raids. Once you reach the end game, Tessa offers challenging trials and raids that will test your skills and teamwork, which is good. Gather your fellow adventurers and conquer mighty bosses for epic loot and bragging rights. Well, we play for these reasons, right? Okay, player housing. Who doesn't love a cozy virtual home? Tessa allows you to build and decorate an own home of various styles in different parts of the Tamriel. From the cottage to a luxurious palace. Show off your interior design skills and make your digital friends green with envy. <laughs> Sounds like an advertisement, right? Guild activities. Join the guild. You open a world of activities for yourself. From cooperative dungeon runs to organized PvP battles. Get ready for some epic guild events that you should do for yourself. But obviously it's just dungeons, it's PvP, it's crafting and it's housing. Well, it's okay for many MMORPGs. As I said to you before, they launch DLCs really, really, like regularly. So you will have plenty of content to play if you like the Elder Scrolls series. So why players love Tessa. Ah, the love for Tessa. It's a flame that burns brighter than the fires of a Mechrin... What is the hell? Mechrinus... Mechrinus Dagonet himself. I don't know who is it. It's just chat GPT recommend me this name. But anyway, but what make people fall head over the heels for this game? Immersive world, right? We talked about that. When it comes to immersion, Tessa takes the cake. From the moment you step into the Tamriel, you are transported to a living, breathing world filled with rich lore, captivating stories and vibrant landscapes. I mean, they are really deeply developed. Good level design, good everything, so with this side, game is really good. Whether you're exploring the bustling streets of Daggerfall or delving into the ancient ruins of the Nair, Tessa attention to details make you feel like you're part of something grand. Super good. Also, solo or social, Tessa caters to both the lone wolves and the social butterflies of the gaming world. Want to tackle quests and unravel mysteries by your own? Go ahead. Prefer to team up with your friends and join the guild for epic adventures? The game offers a seamless transition into group play, ensuring that no matter your playstyle, you will find your place in the Tamriel. A bit close to the World of Warcraft, I say. But more with depths on the lore and the questing, right? So it's more solo game than the group game, but they have the dungeons and they're pretty good. Freedom of choice, we talked about that, right? So Tessa embraced the concept of player agency, allowing you to forge your own path. Want to focus on the main storyline? Go. Prefer to get lost in the side quest and exploration? Go. With the countless quest activities and path follow, Tessa lets you create your own unique adventure, which will be just leveling up till the max level, anyway, but it could be fun if you like quests. And engaging combat. I mean, we didn't talk about that. The combat in Tess is like a well choreographed dance of destruction. Yeah, it's an active combat. It strikes a perfect balance between the strategy and action, offering a satisfying blend of real-time combat and tactical decision making. So like you have a action combat, real-time combat, but still aim assist helps you with the spells and all this stuff so it feels like really active not like world of warcraft you know but it still have some strategy and depth so sniping enemies 
from the shadow you can do the like you you can do the stealth you can uh, you can even steal stuff from enemies the combat system is good yeah the combat system i can say it it like different play styles and variety of play styles of the combat system is good and constant updates and support tessa has proven itself as a game that's here for the long haul and it is right so developers at zenimax online studios have consistently released updates expansions and quality of life improvements to keep the game fresh and exciting please you need to do something with visuals because other things in the game are really really on a high level so as i said before i started with the script me and my friend crow you know <laughs> jumped into the game to have our genuine first expression of the game in 2023 we spent few hours focused on the gameplay and experience that will have any new player. And here you have it, boys. Some most interesting points and moments. Enjoy. Okay, character creation screen. As you can see, you have different alliances, different races. You can choose male and female and, of course, different classes. For sure, now I'm trying to go to the magic classes. So we went with the mage and character customization is pretty not wild but the big one the main thing that you have is a chest size right so we tried to find it with my friend we found it and now we're happy <laughs> muscular large or thin bodies like you can do some kind of good interpretation of whatever you want from the character i'm really bad with that that's why i just choose the you know the pretty face the chest size and basically all so the game looks like, from the first minutes, from the first seconds, the game looks like Morrowind, as I said. Uh, here you can see the, some shadows and some, you know, of course, audio as always is really high, so I, I try to adjust it. But overall, look and feel of the game is kind of Morrowind on the maximum. So we have standard, I mean, not standard for MMORPG, but standard for the Elder Scrolls. So you begin as the chosen class, but actually you can, you know, choose different weapon, level up it and use it. So first combat, let's see it. We have block, we have auto attack and we have the charge auto attack, which will break the block of your enemy and do maximum damage. This is not skills, it's just the weapon use. Combat feels good, combat feels pretty fast combat feels like you can dodge you can block you can do all this stuff so this is not as i said this is not world of warcraft the v fix and all this stuff i mean that's okay right we have also also we have real stealth not just the click the action skill real stealth if the enemy see you they are if they don't you can do you know tricky stuff like try to steal something the boss fight, I mean, this was just tutorial, right? So the boss fight was the showcase, so it was pretty simple. We have a healer, so like, it's impossible to die here. And then we continue with the level up, get some stuff for free, as always, because the game is old, it's, it's okay, right? And then we choose the skills. So you choose the skills between class, weapon and world skills, where the vampires skills could be, class, that you choose at the beginning and weapons that you're using so basically we have few launch missiles or kind of force shocks fireballs and then we have a summon with a mage we choose the destination and we go now we start the game and i can say to you that this first it video it's pretty cool i mean the graphics the immersion and everything it's pretty good. Let's watch it. At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. It attacked our camp last night, tore poor Ilva's head off, right in front of me. You must hunt it. You must kill it. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. These nomadic heretics deny the divinity of the tribunal and have no love. Yeah, I saw this guy. This bold Buddha style guy. I mean, it's immersive, right? It set the mood of the game, which is really good. Like, you understand. Okay, now I see, now I understand what will be in the game. But then you go to the game, it's just quests, it's just a standard. The Elder Scrolls mood, which is good. I like it. 
this is really good. And graphics, you can see it, right? It's not like so bad, but if they will do something with lightning and shadows, it became more and more beautiful. Because sometimes you have shadows on some places and it looks pretty good. Sometimes not, and you can see the textures and everything is old. But that's fine. This is the MMORPG. You can live with that. So you get few quests, you try to talk with people, and the quest in this game, I mean, it's not just go and kill three boars. It's go and talk, go and talk, then go to the dungeon, kill somebody, do something, do the dialogue. So it's more about the storyline than about just to kill things. Here we need to meet some guy near the dungeon and go and help him. Of course, we saw the first mob and we need to kill it. I mean, we fix and all the shakes after the after the magic, that feels good, that feels pretty, pretty good, yeah. These dungeons, you have many different types of these dungeons without the quest, just on the map. So you have, so you just go to the dungeon, right, and the quest begin. And it's not dungeon only for you, it's a dungeon for everybody. So it's basically the open dungeon. This one was really small, but I remember from my previous game sessions that some of the dungeons are really, really huge. As always, you have some mobs here, some narrative, and basically all, you know, quests. We killed everybody, then we talked with this ghost, which were really cool, actually. There's some storyline behind, and this is just the standard quest. Not the main quest, not nothing, just the standard quest. As you can see, the map is big, and uh, this is only one location. We traverse through that location, try to find things, and then we saw this guy. Look at this, look at this dude. I mean, it looks cool, right? If you have such kind of gear, that's really good. So I decided, okay, fuck it. We, or even with my level, I will duel him. And you know what? He accept. So let's see. This is, by the way, the new class, the Necron or something. You see the green stuff? So, you know, you can, you can dodge, right? You can do stuff. And uh, you can see that I even have some damage on him. If I can avoid this light, I can win maybe, no? Of course not, but it was fun. I just wanted to try how it looks like, how the PvP feels. And it feels good, man. All, everything in combat feels good. The game is for the combat. Not for the graphics, right? So you just resurrect it on the place and go. The city feels really, really crowded. I mean, it's the first one, but still we have so many people here running. We get all the quests. Like, you have different NPCs, different... Like this one, just on the wall. And then you go to the main guy of the city, right? This one, the Buddha-style bold guy. Of course, I didn't read the stuff because I'm not the one. And here you can see how my friend tried to steal stuff. And you can steal stuff. But then everybody was, you know, he became the um, criminal and they tried to kill you. So, of course, I tried to help my friend. And the surprise, surprise, we just killed the NPC. It is not elite, not so something, we just killed it. After that, it was a rough time in the city when the, everybody tried to kill us. I mean, it was guards, it was NPCs, I, like, we managed to kill a few of them. Even loot them, right? But then I decided, okay, fuck it, now it's time to die. You die, you resurrect on the place, and <laughs> that's basically all. You have a good standout. I don't know about reputation, but you can continue. So we decided to go and traverse through the map to try to see things. Is you see that right? So when you see when you have when you have the night light, the reflection, and everything, that's a good thing. Like it feels good. But overall, mm, the lack of lightning. So the last one was we tried two of us to go to the dungeon. We didn't know that is a dungeon at that time because you don't have any indication that our mobs are elite or something. So we went to this dungeon, we tried to tackle it, 
And you know, as you can imagine, it was pretty tough. It's like they have a huge HP pools. So it's, I mean, I can, I can dodge, I can run, I can do everything. But at some point, magic, MP, boom. And now I need to fight like in some kind of close combat with just the stuff. So a few bites and you know how it will end, right? But I can say to you guys that overall it was fun experience. We were vomiting for the graphics one more time, but overall, I mean, that was a fun experience. I definitely want to try this game for a few more days in the future. So, like and sub, if you will, I will continue. <laughs> okay, die already. Too much effort for this, die already. Yep. All right, folks. All right. Let's wrap. Is Tesla worth playing in 2023? Is it fun to play? Well, if you're a fan of immersive lore, massive open world, and epic adventures, and you are not so graphics guy, visuals guy, yeah, absolutely. You should go and try this game. Please try to spend more than one day in the game and you will feel why people love it. But be prepared to invest time to truly enjoy what this game has to offer. Thank you for joining me in this fun and sarcastic a little bit adventure, right? I had real fun to play this game to prepare this for you guys. And if you like it, please like it. If you love it, please subscribe. Or, I don't know, drop the comment that this is the shit content. I will also love your feedback. I will see you in the next one. Bye.